Hey everyone, my name is Danielle. Welcome to my channel, Extraordinary Danielle, if you're new, and welcome back if you're returning. Today I wanna to share with you the luxury items in my collection that I've sold and why I sold them. If you like videos that are focused on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and a little bit of luxury, then you're gonna love it on my channel. I would really love it if you'd take a minute and hit that little red subscribe button down below. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss a video. And you guys, remember to like this video if you do like it, and share it with someone that would enjoy the content just as much as you do. I would also really love it if we could connect on Instagram if we're not already connected over there. I do Instagram live videos on Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, and that's an opportunity for me to connect with everybody more casually in a more laid-back setting usually I've just finished teaching a class or working out so you will see the very sweaty version of myself and we just talk about whatever you guys want to talk about I share my week with you talk about things going on and it's really a fun and casual way for us to connect in a different setting so I'd love to see you over there if we're not already connected over there so please follow me on Instagram now in an effort not to make this video too long I am going to go through these items relatively quickly because there are quite a few but I would advise you to grab a cup of coffee, grab a cup of tea or a drink, grab a snack and settle in and we're gonna get going. Now before I get started and sharing the items with you that I've sold and tell you why I've sold them, I do have a little piece of advice. I did a video on my channel talking about four things I wish I would have known before I started a luxury collection. I would highly recommend that you do watch that if you haven't seen it already. I will link it at the end of this video and I will also put it below in the description box so that you can easily find it and go ahead and watch it when you're done watching this video. But if there's one piece of advice that I could give you if you are new to collecting luxury items or if you're thinking about starting a luxury collection or even if you've been collecting for a while, really take the time to know your personal style and really understand your lifestyle. And initially when you start collecting, really look at the brands and styles that will tend to hold their value more just in case you buy something that you decide doesn't fit your lifestyle or you don't like so you don't lose a ton of money. My biggest mistake when I started collecting luxury was that I just got all hyped up and excited and I started collecting without any plan in place. And you will soon see that as I reveal the items I've sold and why. A lot of times when seasoned YouTubers share their luxury collection, you can really see a pattern unfold as they share the bags that they really like and that they have in their collection. You can really tell what their personal style or their taste is like. When I started collecting luxury items, there was no rhyme or reason and nobody could potentially look at my collection and tell, oh, she really has a classic style. Oh, she's really into trendy items. There was just really no rhyme or reason. I really allowed myself to get influenced by every stream of social media and I really bought into a lot of hype, not thinking about whether this particular item was practical for my lifestyle, whether it was something that I would actually use or wear, or whether it was something that I even really liked. So that's really, I think, one of the most important pieces of advice that I have to offer if I could offer any pieces of advice. So I think one of the first items in my collection that I sold was the Gucci Marmont belt. And that is also one of the first things that I bought. And I just really wanted something luxury and designer. It fell within my price point. I sell items on Poshmark, so I had some credit, so I saw this come available and I bought it right away. And I will say that I did wear it on a very regular basis for probably about eight months. I really enjoyed it and I wore it a lot. I do feel like I got a decent cost per wear out of that item, but I also really got sick of it. And as I continued to watch videos on luxury shopping and luxury items, People were saying that this is a belt that isn't popular anymore, you see it everywhere, it's very commonplace. And I guess because I had worn it a lot, I just kind of got sick of it and I decided I'm gonna sell it while it still will have a really decent resale value and I'm gonna recoup my money and put it into something else. And I was able to actually make a profit on that item when I sold it. So that's another tip, if you really pay attention to the trends and you really pay attention to what's going on, in the fashion realm, sometimes you can enjoy the trends and really sell them at the right time and still be able to recoup your money or sometimes even make a profit. Now one of the second items that I both bought and sold was the Gucci Blooms tote and the Gucci Blooms pouch because the Gucci Blooms tote doesn't come with a pouch and I wanted a matching pouch to go inside the tote. I bought this tote in a Facebook group and it came as a full set with the box, the dust bag. It was beautiful, it was brand new, it was just a lovely and beautiful bag. I really, really liked it a lot. And I believe I bought the pouch on like the Real Real or something like that. And it was also in excellent brand new condition. So I was able to get these lovely pieces. But this happened during quarantine. So I will tell you that 
They sat in my closet. I wasn't really going anywhere. And as I started to pull them out and play with them, I realized that the Gucci Blooms tote is quite heavy. It is a heavy bag because the canvas on this particular tote is pretty thick and it does have some pretty thick leather trim. And so even when I was carrying it empty, it felt pretty heavy. And then when I tried to put my computer and all my files in the tote, it was very, very heavy. And if there's one thing that I've come to realize about myself, I just am not willing to do heavy totes. They don't work out for me. They're hard on my shoulder. I'm a smaller person in stature and I'm also disabled. So I really need to be able to carry things with ease and I don't want to carry things around with me that are too heavy because I don't want to risk either dropping them or falling or having something happen because an item that I'm trying to carry is too heavy and I also realized that it didn't really match the aesthetic of my wardrobe over time as I continued to look at it wear it around the house take pictures of it I realized that this would be an item in the long term that I would probably struggle to style with the types of clothing that I had in my wardrobe and also due to the fact that it was very heavy I did end up selling that piece it is a very beautiful tote I still really like it but it wasn't really practical with my aesthetic or practical for my lifestyle the next item that I sold was this pair of white Prada pointed toe flats simply put honestly I really feel like these shoes are just not attractive shoes they didn't fit me really well and I did order them off the real real now they were returnable but I wasn't paying attention and I missed the return window, so I wasn't able to return them because I missed my window to return them. So I ended up actually just consigning them back to the real real because they just weren't the right style or aesthetic for me. And sometimes with shoes, you don't really know that when you buy online. It's not until you see them and try them on that you realize that they are either not comfortable or they don't look good on your foot or they're just not the right aesthetic for your style. That was what happened with this particular pair of shoes. The next item that I sold was this Dior graphic tee. Now this was a tee that I bought, I believe on Poshmark, it was brand new, and it said that it was a woman's extra small, but oh my gosh, you guys, it honestly fit like a child's extra small. I got this t-shirt and it was so tight, and initially I thought I'll make sure that I just wash it in cold and don't dry it and maybe it won't shrink, but it was literally uncomfortably tight, and I'll tell you this, you guys, I like this t-shirt so much that I actually paid a tailor to put extra material on the sides to make the t-shirt a little bit bigger but even so it just wasn't super comfortable I don't like t-shirts that are really tight I like more looser fitting t-shirts and so I did end up selling that t-shirt the next item that I sold was this blue Sun Rev midi maestra convertible backpack now if you're in the luxury community and if you've been in the luxury community for a while you may recall some months back that all of the influencers were talking about the brand Sunrub. Now, I will say this, I think that it is a really nice brand, I really like it. I do still have a belt bag from Sunrub that I do wear occasionally. I think this is a very high quality brand. I really, really like the brand. I think that their items are beautiful. I think they're very durable. But the reason I bought this particular backpack was because I was going on a cruise with my boys and I thought that this particular backpack would come in handy if we went on day excursions or trips for the day and it would be helpful and handy to have a backpack. And I wanted something that was a little bit more durable and looked a little bit different than just your standard backpack. The one thing about this backpack was though that it's not, in my opinion, a really good vacationing type of backpack because it is super structured. It does have a very delicate suede or microfiber like light lining so something that you definitely don't want to get dirty because the lining will show dirt really easily and it isn't super heavy but it's definitely heavier than your typical fabric or canvas backpack and I can tell you that I only used it once on our cruise because I just didn't find it practical and when I got home I maybe used it one more time but again I just didn't really find it practical it wasn't big enough for me to hold my laptop so it wasn't good for that and I do find that this line of backpacks by Sunrub are fantastic work bags I think they do look really understated and really chic and they are very very well made but for me it just didn't work out for my lifestyle and my aesthetic the other reason that this backpack didn't work out for me was the way that you had to unbuckle and buckle the flaps to open the bag 
I am not about fuss and that's one thing that I've realized through my journey of collecting and selling luxury items. If something like a handbag or a piece of jewelry is too fussy or requires too much to put it on or get in and out of the bag, it's not something that's gonna be for me. I'm all about ease and no fuss. Like I mentioned, I am disabled, I have cerebral palsy, so I really only have good use of my right hand. So if something requires that you open it with two hands or something is more difficult to maneuver or put on, it's just not something that's gonna work for me. I found that the Sunrev backpack for me did fall in this category and I realized that this was a bag that I just wasn't gonna reach for very much, which is the reason that I sold it. Now this next item I will admit I regret selling and I wish I still had it in my collection and that is this pair of Gucci Ace crocodile trimmed leather sneakers, the classic iconic pair with just the green and red logo on the sides and the green and red leather tabs on the back. The reason I really like these sneakers was they were so comfortable. I did get them pre-loved, so they were obviously already broken in. I got them at a luxury store in Chicago. And the reason I sold these sneakers was because I wanted to buy the Gucci Ace interlocking Gigi sneakers with a much more toned down aesthetic. They are beautiful shoes, I did buy them, I really like them. Now the thing about this is that these shoes are currently for sale, I wear a size six. In Gucci you want a size down, they do run very big so I am a size 35 in Gucci sneakers. So these particular Gucci sneakers that you see on the screen are currently for sale. I am a size 35. So if you're interested, they are in like new condition, reach out to me and let me know. The reason why I decided to sell these sneakers shortly after getting them was because honestly, they were uncomfortable for me the first time that I wore them. Now I do realize this might be a shoe that you have to break in and wear a little more to find out whether it's truly comfortable but I'm an impatient person and I also decided as far as white sneakers go, I went the route of getting a really cute pair of white Adidas sneakers in the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I felt like that was much better for my lifestyle and I wouldn't stress out so much about keeping these expensive white sneakers clean. And so for me, that's the reason I'm selling these Gucci interlocking Ace sneakers. Now moving on to another item that I currently have for sale, that is this brand new with tags Bauman blazer. Now again, this is a beautiful blazer and it fits me to a T. It's just gorgeous on. I got this at the same luxury consignment store in Chicago that I got the Gucci Ace sneakers and I just fell in love with it. I remember when everybody was talking about the Bauman blazer and how great it was and I was so excited to be able to try one on in Chicago and to be able to find this one. So I bought it right away, but again, I bought it without thinking about my personal style. I bought it without thinking about my lifestyle and the way that I normally dress on an everyday basis. And I will tell you that I actually never wore this blazer because I never had the opportunity to wear it. I never had the occasion and it just sat in my closet and I realized that there were other things that I wanted to do with the money that I spent on this blazer. So that's why this item is currently for sale. So again, if you're interested, I am a size small, reach out to me and I can give you details on the blazer. Now moving on, next up we have the Fendi Mini Spy Bag in the denim material. Isn't this such a cute bag, you guys? This is such an adorable, cute bag. And again, this was a purchase that I made on Poshmark. I saw this spy bag and I thought it was so cute. I had watched a YouTuber talk about Fendi spy bags and I really wanted one and I had credit on Poshmark so I bought it. But when it came in the mail, this thing was so, so tiny. So that's another mistake that I've made when I've bought luxury items is I really haven't paid attention to the dimensions or the measurements of the item and you really wanna make sure that you do that to really understand whether or not the item will work for you and fit all the items that you need, either a handbag or whether the sizing is really correct for you. I've learned now to do that because sometimes pictures can be misleading when you're looking at pictures online and something can look a lot bigger or a lot smaller than it actually is in real life. The next item is this Burberry Greenwood bowling bag. I really wanted a white bag for summer, but I now realize that I would never spend luxury money on a white bag because it's gonna end up getting trashed. I did buy a beautiful Perenza Schuller bucket bag on my trip to Chicago when I bought the Bauman blazer and I bought the Gucci Ace sneakers that I still wear and love. It's a white bucket bag, but it was pre-loved and it wasn't expensive. At the time, I got a great deal on it, and that is 
my white summer bag that I just love. I don't think I would buy another white bag from a luxury brand because it just isn't gonna hold its value. It's just not gonna stay looking nice and white. And this particular bag was actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be because again, I really didn't pay attention to the measurements and the dimensions of the bag. And when I got it, it was just way too big for me and it was way too big for what I wanted and needed it for. Next item I sold were these Chanel denim flats. And again, this is another mistake I made. I bought these beautiful flats on Poshmark from a seller there, but I didn't take the time to really understand European sizing, and when I got these particular flats, they were just too big. I really love these flats. They were beautiful. They looked really nice on my feet, except for the fact that I couldn't walk in them because they were just way too big. And so when I got them, I couldn't return them, and they didn't fit, so I had to sell them. Next up is this light gray St. Laurent toy Lulu bag. The reason I purchased it was because I really wanted a Lulu bag from St. Laurent. I just really think those bags are beautiful. And I really knew in my heart that I should get the small size because I really thought that the toy Lulu might be too small. But because I wasn't patient enough and I didn't want to initially spend the money on the small size, I ended up getting the toy Lulu and honestly, it really was just way too small for me. And I really struggled to style the colorway that I got. It just didn't really go with the aesthetic of a lot of things in my wardrobe at the time. And I really wanted a chain strap and not the long leather strap that it comes with. So for those reasons, I did sell that bag. And I also did sell a matching Saint Laurent zip card holder in the same type of light gray color. Again, this was a beautiful item that I absolutely loved. But again, I just didn't feel like I needed it because I had other card holders that I was using. And I was trying to sell it as a set with the bag. I ended up selling it separately. It was just an extra item that I felt like I really didn't need, which is why I sold it. The last item I sold might surprise you. It is a Louis Vuitton favorite in the PM size in the Dame Azure canvas. The reason that I initially wanted this was because I did want something in that Azure canvas print for the summer but I made a huge mistake here. I thought that I was buying the MM size when in actuality I bought the PM size and I really found that it was way, way, way too small. The other thing about this was the fact that I really struggled to wear it. I was always really anxious and worried about color transfer and I was always really stressed out about the Vaquetta strap and the little bits of Vaquetta on the bag. And so because of those reasons, I ended up selling this bag. I'm not sure if the Azure canvas would be a canvas that I would invest in again, possibly in a tote, but I just don't know because one thing that I've learned is I don't want to stress out and worry about my bags. This past week on Tuesday, I did a video on the Chanel Camellia walk and I did a what's in my bag and I talked about the fact that it is lambskin and it is quite delicate but I am going to wear it and use it and enjoy it and try not to worry too much because I don't want wearing my handbags and my luxury items to become stressful or make me anxious because then it's not fun and then there's no enjoyment in actually wearing the item and you don't want that so there you go those are the items that I've sold and the biggest overall reason that I sold all of these items was because I wanted to build and curate a more functional, tighter collection of items that I would use and really enjoy that really go with my aesthetic and my wardrobe and my lifestyle now that I kind of know what that is a little bit more. So I sold over half of my collection in order to curate a much more functional and wearable collection for me. So you guys, I hope you found this information on the items that I've sold and why helpful and informative. If you have any questions about anything I've sold or anything I've owned in my collection that I've talked about, please do comment below, let me know. And also let me know if there's any items that you've sold that you regret and wish you could repurchase. And if there's any items that you sold that you're glad that you sold and if you did use that money to repurchase something on your wish list, I would love to know that. And with that, thank you so much for watching today. I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. And always remember, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. And confidence is the most important accessory you can wear.